I was literally just getting ready to record this intro and I had a swarm of five freaking creepers coming trying to annihilate me off this world. <laughs> it's not fair. Well, we are back here in the world and we've got a big project to get go Ooh, get going today and uh well let's have a look at our beautiful little area uh i've removed the horrible ore tower that we had there i've been smelting a little bit up in my crappy little furnace array down there and uh we need to make a big change we're gonna make a much better furnace array we're gonna triple it i believe something like that and uh and pulling a new build uh since we've got the towers in been invigorated to build our buildings in this area we need to cover up these buildings here uh over here in the background we've got farm but i've designed a whole bunch of buildings but today we're going to focus on getting our copper production going because we are sorely lacking in that and we're going to need a lot as well as building a furnace array and a lovely building for it to go in we're not going to have any more of these ugly farms out in the open looking making the place look messy we're just down here and uh well i've got my materials or some of my materials already uh we've got this we need some more calcite we are definitely gonna run out of that so we'll uh, go for a little uh, gathering of that we've got our stony type bricks our warped wood i've uh, got plenty of that down there we've got plenty of our stone and then we've got some other materials that we need and we've we've got the prismarine uh but we are lacking in the copper area uh, i do have a little thing over there and then here we've just got some generic sort of more decorative blocks rather than our actual building blocks uh but uh yeah let's uh, let's let's take a wander through here uh we have our two uh this dispenses chicken for me this dispenses rockets and i've got uh if i press that button i get my totems but if we head out all the way over this side this is where we're gonna have our furnace array uh right over here where i have my chicken cooker right now we're gonna get rid of that i've got some eggs uh but we've also got all of this copper over here and uh, i saw this on uh on cubic meter uh he did a little thing about it i'm gonna put a little time lapse up in the top right corner and this is one of the quicker ways to well not quicker but more efficient we can just lay out uh, all of our blocks like so on top of these i'll put a link to the video uh, about it in more detail so go and check that out but it means it's a bit easier we don't take up so much space and this platform does a thousand at a time it takes about eight hours for it all to get done um, but it oh, it does work pretty well and if we're in the area which we are a lot then we can just have this ticking over in the background oh my god scourge right well we'll go and sort those out in a minute don't you worry and there we go we have the frame for this building up uh so we can start getting an idea of where this is going uh but we need to clear out some space in the back and uh that's for our furnace array and i've put in some tnt there's no other way we need to do this like i've got plenty of tnt so let's make it fun all right fire in the hole oh, please don't blow this all up Ooh. well oh dear that's not good <laughs> uh oops right okay i'm gonna clip oh no oh 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 mistakes were made if you would like to play on a server just like this with your friends then check out g portal and using the link down below you can get a discount on your minecraft server and also you'll be helping us out 
as it gives something to us for your support. That's right, check out G Portal down below. We've uh, we've finally got the furnace array in and I've got it built in into this little alcove where we blew a big hole and there <laughs> yeah I, I probably went bigger than I needed to be uh, but that's not a problem so as we come in we've got our like uh, fuel area here so gonna have a redstone lamp here and all of it's gonna come from our bamboo farm which is just up over there so it'll get transported and anything extra will just be destroyed over here uh, so fuel is not a problem and then we've got our input chest here uh, which will go into two separate mine carts and then over here is the return uh, chest then we've got two so we've got two double chests plus a little bit extra so it should be good to go because we can only put in a double chest at a time so that should be fine and if i show you down here uh, we've got two banks on either side of furnaces uh, that come around and then all of the items come into a dropper here get fired and then come up our water elevator into those top chests and uh yeah i think this is going to work really well super fast i'm just hoping that we don't get any uh delays with the bamboo uh, but we do have a number of double chests uh, to keep us going i'm just hoping that we don't burn fuel through the fuel over here quicker than we can resupply so i've still got to do a bit of patching up over here but we do need to go and get that calcite and more copper that i alluded to earlier on in the episode uh we've kind of that's it so we might as well go and do that we've got that ready to clear and to reset uh, but we also need to get some of our copper smelted in our furnace array. Uh, so let's go and do that before we do anything else. We managed to get quite a bit it was quite a successful trip with what we have already of copper we've got uh, almost eight shulkers of copper raw copper ready to smelt and we did get almost three shulkers of calcite and then we did get a few extra things from uh, treasure maps and uh shipwrecks and that sort of thing this was kind of the the good stuff uh so i'm going to get this in and get this all organized so we're currently doing another round of copper and uh this one's almost there and i have now got a large amount of copper still got a bit more to go uh, but hopefully that should be enough uh, but we did have to make some changes to the furnace array so let's go and have a look at what I've done and what changes we made so I've completed the area around the furnace array so we've got a, a little bamboo collection shulker input system which puts into a barrel in the blacksmith area uh, and then uh, i've decorated all this we've got a blast furnace area uh, not sure if i'll actually end up using it maybe for the odds and sods uh, and i can always grab bamboo from down there uh, and then over here we've got a bit of a, a storage area just to make it look pretty and our output and input chest there and then also to get to our back area of built this little section here so we've connected up our bamboo farm which we'll work on in a future episode and i actually extended out our furnace array after running it uh with our copper uh it actually turned out 
that uh, it wasn't enough. So by putting in more furnaces, it was actually able to keep up with demand because of the extra furnaces burning up a double chest and the resupply system. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So we've actually got bigger capacity and oh, it cooks all of our uh, materials quicker. So that's all cool and working really well. And uh, I've hidden uh, this in a really cool little system like that um but we need to get on and finish the outside because we can't just have it looking pretty in this area uh we've got to make sure the house is looking good so let's jump into a very quick time lapse and see how that came together And there we go it's done and i've spent the time decorating so it's looking even more fabulous uh so we've got our little blacksmith area over here uh being used a lot with the uh the anvil look at that oh yeah loving that uh and then we've got a little sort of dingy uh area for like finishing area so eventually i'll come along and put some tools and stuff using the armor stand mod uh, and then this comes through to there uh, like I said earlier we've got our bamboo in there a uh, little spot for books uh, just to remind yourself how to blacksmith and then up here we have our living quarters uh, so we've got like a little kitchen here with fireplace uh, books uh, seating area and storage and then up here we have a bedroom again of storage so i've been using that already which is pretty good uh but now i think you know for today that is going to be about done and uh we're going to be working on another area probably around the bamboo or even the nether portal possibly uh we'll work on that for the next episode but anyway that's it for today thank you very much for joining me and i hope to see you again soon Bye.